Okay, <clears throat> let's talk about the AI reroll. We've all been there. You spend 20 minutes crafting a prompt that's practically poetry. You hit generate. You get an image that is almost perfect, except the person has three hands. Or they have that classic, I've seen things, dead-eyed stare. So what do you do? You tweak one tiny word in your prompt, hit generate again, and poof, the AI gives you a completely different image, this time of a squirrel in a spacesuit. It's maddening. Well, I'm here to tell you that entire frustrating workflow is officially dead. Today, we're doing a deep, practical dive into a massive update to a tool I've been using for almost two years now, Artspace AI. They just dropped over 70 new one-click tools that finally, finally fix this problem. This isn't about reprompting and praying. This is about editing. This is about moving from a generator to a true editor. We finally got control. So today, I'm not just going to give you a boring feature list. I'm going to show you a practical, step-by-step -step workflow. We are going to start with one single, decent-looking AI image. And by the end of this, we will have used about 15 of these one-click tools to transform it, correct it, and repurpose it in ways that would have been a total nightmare just a few months ago. By the way, if you've never heard of Artspace, it's my go-to AI art generator, mostly because I snagged a lifetime deal on it and have been using it forever. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. Ready to stop playing the AI slot machine and actually start directing? Let's get started. Okay, let me log into my Artspace account. Looks like the members area has been revamped. The landing page inside the members area is now this. This is where you can access all the new tools from. By the way, if you want to go back to the old interface, click here. We are here to try the newer tools, so let's go back to the new interface. As I mentioned earlier, now here, there are more than 70 tools, and I am not going to try all of them. We will use 10 to 15 of these one-click tools and see how it's done. Now, let's begin by generating our starting image. Let's open up the first tool, which is the New Image tool. The prompt is, photograph of a 1950s female detective, sitting in a dark office, looking at the camera, film noir style, high detail. And this is the result we got. The result is pretty good. We have a woman in a trench coat, sitting at a desk. The vibe is right. Now we will start playing with this image. We will change her clothes, her expression, the scene, etc. Let's start with the most obvious and powerful changes. First, I want to change her expression. She looks too neutral. I want her to look more confident, maybe a little skeptical. I take our source image. I go to the Tools section and select Change Expression. Now here, there are some presets available, but we will click on this Custom option and enter our prompt. I'm not writing a new, complex prompt. I'm just giving it one instruction. I type smirking confidently and hit generate. Artspace now reprocesses only the facial region, keeping everything else, the hair, the lighting, the background, exactly the same. And here's the result. Look at this. It's the same woman, same lighting, but now she has a completely different attitude. The original is blank. This new one is telling a story. This is character consistency, and it's incredibly powerful. Tool two, change pose. Okay, I like the expression, but now her pose feels static. She's just sitting there. Let's say I want to use this character for a thumbnail, and I need a more engaging pose. I'll use our new image with the confident smirk. I go back to the Tools menu and select Change Pose. Again, let's choose Custom, and a simple text box appears. I'll type, leaning forward on the desk, holding a magnifying glass. Let's see what it does. Here we go. This is a massive change. It has redrawn her entire upper body. She's now leaning in, the folds on her trench coat have changed, and it has intelligently added the magnifying glass. The face is consistent, but the entire pose is new. This took one click and about 10 seconds. Now, I like her current hairstyle, but what if I want to see the character in a different do? This is where the next tool comes in. I'll take our new image, the one with her leaning forward. I'm going to select a tool called Change Hairstyle. Now, the best thing about this feature is that there are no brushes to paint or masks to create. You don't have to select anything. 
the AI automatically detects the area and just does the required changes. For this demonstration, I'm just going to choose one of the presets. Let's try Classic Ponytail and hit Change Hairstyle. Okay, this is a big test. We're asking the AI to completely create a new hairstyle from scratch, all while matching the existing face, the pose, and the lighting. And here is the result. This is incredible. She now has the exact hairstyle we imagined, and it's perfectly lit by the scene's high contrast lighting. Tool 4. Change Scene Background Okay, let's go back to our main detective image, the one with the magnifying glass. What if I want her in a completely different location? The Change Scene tool is designed for exactly this. It's basically an AI-powered green screen. So, I find the Change Scene tool. I select our character image. The prompt box asks what I want the new scene to be. I'll type, inside a crowded, vintage 1950s diner at night. It will now attempt to analyze the foreground subject, the detective and her magnifying glass, and completely replace everything else. Wow, look at this. It's, it's perfect. That is wildly good. It has cut her out flawlessly, maintained the original lighting on her, and placed her right in the diner. You can see the blurred out booths and the lights in the background. The integration is just really impressive. The AI has even tried to match the reflections from the new scene onto her coat. Now, for this video, let's go back to our office scene. I prefer that one, but this change scene tool is perfect for creating product mockups or, or storyboarding new ideas. I'll use the add object tool. Let's stick with our leaning forward office image. The desk, it just looks empty. It doesn't really sell the whole detective idea. I want to add a classic 1950s style telephone. As we did before, let's choose the custom prompt option and I'll type a black vintage 1950s rotary telephone. Now again, we don't, and in fact we can't, choose a specific area on the image. The AI will decide that for us. And hit add object. The AI will now fill in a specific area with the object I described, and it will automatically match the lighting, the shadows, and the perspective of the original image. And there it is, a perfect rotary phone sitting right on the desk. It has the right lighting, it's casting a slight shadow, and it looks completely natural. We've just added a key storytelling element to our scene, emphasizing without disturbing the character at all. You could also add a coffee mug, or a book if you wanted to. Now, let's do the opposite. In our original image, there was a lamp in the background. Let's say, I don't like it, it's distracting. I select the Remove Object tool and choose the image. In the Custom Prompt section, I will just type Remove the Lamp and click Remove Object. The AI's generative fill kicks in. It analyzes the surrounding pixels, the wall, the shadows, and just fills in the blank space. And it's gone. Not just erased, but intelligently replaced. The wall is seamless. This is the kind of cleanup work that used to require a dedicated photo editor and a lot of careful cloning and stamping. Now, it's a 10 second fix. Next, let's check out the Add Clothing tool. This is one of the most useful new tools. I have our detective in a trench coat, but what if I wanted to try a different look? Maybe something a little more formal. I select the Add Clothing tool choose our image, and in the prompt box I'll type a white button-up shirt and a black tie. Let's see if it can keep the pose, but change the outfit. Wow, okay, this is almost perfect. It has completely redrawn her torso, adding the shirt and tie, and it even understood how the shadows should fall on the new clothing. The original coat is gone, replaced by a new, clean outfit. This is a game-changer for creating consistent characters in different outfits. This one is wildly powerful. Let's say you love the scene, the lighting, the pose, the outfit, but you wanna use a different face. Maybe a character you've generated before or, or even your own face. I select the Swap Faces tool. This opens a simple uploader. There are two boxes, Source Image, which is our detective, and Target Face. I'll take our image with the new shirt and tie, and for the target, I'll upload a different image of a face. Let's use another character I generated earlier and I click Swap Faces. It will now map that new face onto the pose of the old face, matching the expression, the angle, and the lighting. And here's the result. It's a completely different person, but they are perfectly integrated into our scene. 
The lighting on the face matches the room. The head is at the right angle. This is one of the cleanest face swaps I've seen from an all-in-one tool. The potential for this is massive, letting you create a virtual actor and place them in any scene you generate. So far, we've been working on our image. Now, let's prepare it for final use. AI images are often generated at a standard resolution, like 1024 by 1024. If you try to print that, or use it on a high-resolution screen, it just looks blurry. The Upscale Image tool fixes this. Let's choose this tool, and choose our image. There's really not much to do here. Just click on Upscale Image, and it does the rest. This isn't just stretching the image. It's using AI to intelligently add new detail. It sharpens the edges, refines textures, and reconstructs details, like the fibers in the clothing or the texture of the skin. Next, let's try the Remove Background feature. What if I just want the character? No background, just a clean cutout for a website, a YouTube thumbnail, or a design project. Open the tool, choose the image, and click on Remove Background. It analyzes the image, identifies the foreground subject, and perfectly masks out the background. And here is the result a high-resolution PNG file of our detective on a transparent background. The edge detection around the hair is incredibly clean. I must say here, it has removed the entire scene elements except for the person. I just wanted it to remove the background, so I believe this one needs to give us more control, to be more precise. Next is the Colorize Black and White tool. Now, let's try a completely different workflow. Let's step away from our detective for just a moment. I have here a genuine black and white photograph from the 1930s. It's a great photo, but it's black and white. Open the tool and upload the image. Now, I'm going to choose one of the presets here. Let's choose Natural Realistic Colors and click Colorize. Again, this is a one-click tool. It's going to analyze all those different shades of gray and make an educated guess a very educated guess about the natural colors. And here is the result. This is stunning. It has accurately identified the skin tones, the hair color, the different colors in the clothing, and the background. It looks natural and vibrant. It's not that oversaturated cartoony look. It's a very realistic and subtle colorization. Okay, but what if your photo had other problems? What if it was faded and it had scratches and dust all over it? The colorize tool doesn't fix that but the Restore Old Photo tool does. Open the tool and choose your image. This tool is specifically trained to identify and fix common issues with old photos. You have presets like Gentle Common Repair, Scratch and Tear Repair, Color and Fade Restoration, etc. Let's choose General Photo Restoration and hit Generate. Now, look at this. Here is the original, and here is the restored version. This is outstanding. The scratches are gone. The tears are gone. The dust spots have vanished. The contrast is fixed, and the faces are so much sharper and clearer. And here's the pro tip. You can chain these tools. First, run Restore Old Photo to get a clean black and white image. Then, run Colorize Black and White on that newly restored image. The result is a clean, sharp, and beautifully colorized photo. Let's go back to our detective. What if I want to quickly restyle it? Maybe I need a version that looks like a painting for a book cover. Let me choose the Change Artistic Style tool, and let's upload our image. I am going to choose Custom and then type Gritty Graphic Novel Illustration, Heavy Ink, Comic Book Style. It will now reprocess the entire image trying to keep the composition, but completely change the art style. Here's the result. It's no longer a photograph. It's a high contrast, stylized illustration. The lines are harder, the colors are more saturated, and it looks like it was pulled straight from a graphic novel. This is an incredibly fast way to repurpose one single asset into multiple styles. Now, this tool is a bit different, or at least it's supposed to be. It's for when you have an image you like, but you're not quite in love with it. You like the idea, just not the execution. I'll select the Reimagine Image tool. Let's take our original 1950s detective image. I am going to choose the Preset option. Let's choose Beach Paradise. This tool is supposed to take the original image as a strong visual prompt. 
and generate new variations based on it. But, it looks like this. Only change the scene. The character is the same and the pose is the same. It works. Well, it works similarly to the change scene tool. I'm, I'm not really sure how this one is different. Finally, what about the opposite problem? You find an image you love, maybe in the Artspace Public Gallery, or maybe an old image you generated and forgot the prompt for, and you want to know how to make something similar. It's simple. I select the Discover Prompt tool, upload the image, and click Discover Prompt. Artspace will now analyze the image and reverse engineer a prompt that it thinks would create this image. And here's the very detailed prompt it gave me. That is an incredibly accurate and detailed description of the image we created. I can now take this prompt, tweak it, and generate a whole new series of images in this exact style. It's a perfect way to learn and to build upon your own work. This is a fundamental shift in AI image creation. We're moving past just being prompt engineers and becoming AI-powered artists and editors. This new suite of one-click tools gives you the fine-toothed control we've been missing. It's no longer about getting one lucky shot. It's about taking a good shot and making it perfect. I will leave a link in the description below for you to check out the Artspace AI Lifetime deal. Thank you for watching.